So now that we understand some very basic terminology, what I want to do now is I want to give you guys a brief overview of how the internet works. Now, the internet at the heart is just a bunch of websites that a bunch of people can go to, right? I mean, of course, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but this is basically the very basics of how the internet works and how everything is connected. So say that you wanted to make a website, a nice web developer, Oh, you know, we'll put him right here. We have a goofy face because web developers usually have crazy hair and, you know, stupid face like that. Well, this guy is a web developer, and he makes a website using some cool program on his PC. Well, of course, there are a bunch of other PCs around the world. Your friend, your grandma who lives in, you know, Mexico, um, some dude over in Europe, and some chick over in, you know, Australia. And you want you want all of these people to view the website that's on your PC right here but even though everything is really connected by wires going to the internet uh, here's the internet right here somewhere in here they can't get to your PC right here why is that well it would be insecure your operating system doesn't allow just any stranger like these guys to access your PC and view the website that you made all right, so how on earth can these people see your website? Well, in order for these users all around the world to see your website, you need to store it on a special computer called a server. So this is a server right here, and we'll get into the details of a server later on. But basically what it is, and I know, you know this isn't like the formal definition, but think of it like a special computer that is accessible to many users. Now whenever, you know, a server like Google server, that is worldwide accessible to everyone. You also can have a server in your home. So if this was a home network, then, you know, maybe these PCs would be your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, and you can all have the same server for maybe you want to share files, or maybe um, this is a school, each PC would be, you know, a different teacher's room and you guys can all share you know the students uh, you know grades or something like that but basically that's what a server is it's a special computer that many different users can access now of course whenever we're talking about the internet and the world wide web then your server is accessible not just to a small group of people but to the entire world and we call that a web server so I'll write that. A web server is a special server that anyone in the world can access. So whenever you build a website, you actually don't store the web files on your PC. You actually have to store them on a web server. And if you're like, all right, do I go to Best Buy and get a web server? Where the heck? Well, usually you need to get it through a company online or, you know, um, type in like web server or web hosting and there are a bunch of different like GoDaddy is, is probably the most popular one unfortunately don't really like that company but another thing I want to mention is that web servers they usually have lots of memory and why is this well like say GoDaddy's web server for example all of these people might want to make a website and store it on their server and also if you think of like amazon.com a lot of users in the world are going to access that web server so it's going to have a lot of memory and also a lot of power so like amazon's web server it's more than just a special computer it's a really powerful computer and it has a crap load of memory so basically that's what a web server is and that's how the internet works very basic and if you don't understand the details of a web server then trust me in the next two videos is going to become crystal clear